Do you think that direwolves are just in the world of Game of Thrones? Well, think again. One US company claims that three of them are currently in a 2000 acre facility and have been brought back from extinction. Hello and welcome to The Print. This is Akanksha Mishra and today I'm going to be talking about the process of genetic editing that supposedly brought back direwolves from extinction. On Tuesday, Colossal Laboratories, a US-based biotechnology company, announced that using genetic engineering, they have brought back the extinct direwolf species on Earth after almost 12,000 years. These direwolves, named Romulus, Remus and Khaleesi, were born on 1st October and 30th January respectively using surrogacy, with domestic hounds carrying the genetically modified embryos. They have been raised and fed in a secret colossal facility in the US to keep their location safe. Today, Colossal showcased these pristine white direwolves to the world by posting a video online of them howling. The first direwolf howl the world has heard in over 10,000 years. Direwolves are known to have roamed the North American continent from at least 2.5 million years ago, along with woolly mammoths and bisons, who also served as their main prey. However, they went extinct around 12,500 years ago for a number of reasons which included a lack of prey. The scientists at Colossal used genome editing to carry out the process of de-extinction, as they call it. They first extracted direwolf DNA from ancient fossils that were found in the US and they reconstructed the direwolf genome. A genome provides all genetic information that's required about any animal, whether it's alive or extinct. Using this direwolf genome as a resource, Colossal then edited the genome of a grey wolf, which is the closest living relative of direwolves. Grey wolves and direwolves shared 99.5% of their DNA code. By editing the grey wolf genome, Colossal was able to replicate the direwolf's white coats, their wider heads, thicker legs and larger jaws and teeth. This genetically edited grey wolf genome was then used to create a genetically edited embryo which was then transplanted into a female hound for surrogacy. Therefore, the de-extinction process did not actually use direwolf DNA in any way. They instead chose to rely on edited grey wolf genomes. According to the company's website and the testimonies of the chief science officer Beth Shapiro, the goal of such a de-extinction process is not just to bring extinct animals back to life, but a broader aim of conservation. A press release on the Colossal website says that de-extinction is a deep ecological enrichment and that through de-extinction, they plan to release extinct animals back into the wild and increase the resilience of ecosystems. The genetic editing process can also be used to prevent endangered animals from going extinct. But certain scientists and academics have raised concerns about Colossal Laboratory's process, arguing that it's not actually bringing back an extinct species. Alex Young, a professor of genetics at the University of California, Los Angeles, took to X, formerly Twitter, to point out that it's not a direwolf. It's a grey wolf that's modified to be more like a direwolf. An article in the New Scientist magazine also explained that the three wolves with Colossal right now are grey wolves who have been genetically modified to resemble direwolves, but not actually direwolves. The article quotes Beth Shapiro as saying that Colossal is going by the morphological definition of an animal, meaning that if it looks like the animal, then it is the animal. But Shapiro herself, in a paper in 2016, said that genetically edited animals are not exact copies of extinct species. Back when she was working with the Genomics Institute at the University of California, Santa Cruz, she wrote about the processes that can facilitate de-extinction, which included genome editing. None of the approaches will culminate in the birth of an organism that is an identical copy to one that is extinct, wrote Shapiro. Instead, what will be possible is an ecological proxy or a stand-in for the extinct species in the current environment. But with the direwolves, Romulus, Remus and Khaleesi, even that is doubtful. While they have been hand-reared and are healthy and safe, Colossal said that there are no plans of rewilding these animals. They will live out their best lives on an expansive preserve that is maintained by Colossal, they said in a post on X. That's all we have for you today. Thank you for tuning into The Print.